So now we have with us a very unique artist, uh, Cyborg, which <laughs> I'll let you in a second to explain what does it mean, Moon Rivas. Mm -hmm. and, and Moon, I want you to tell the viewers briefly what is it that you have in your body? So I have an implant that is connected to online seismographs. So every time there's an earthquake anywhere in the planet, I feel a vibration inside my body. Depending on the intensity of the earthquake, the vibration I feel is more strong or less strong. And this has become like a new sense, the seismic sense. There you go. So you know, it's interesting because um, many times in the business world, we talk about the future and we talk about what will be the future of the world in terms of humanity and technology. But how come that artists are living this future today, at the present? We talk about installing and implementing technology, but you already have this implant for how long? Since 2013, I've been feeling earthquake. Almost, almost four years you already have in your body the in implant. Mm -hmm. Why artists all the time in the forefront of the future? I feel because uh, in the art world you feel more free because we, we don't look for solutions, we wonder more. It's like the philosophers, we ask questions and we more about the experience. So I guess it's different when you are in the business or you are a, a doctor, something is like you, you think very complete with finding a specific solution and sometimes this can be very close-minded because it's very difficult when it's some, there's a problem and you try to find a, a solution or something or trying to be very practical. I guess artists, we're not practical people. We, we everything, because art is not practical, it, it, it's something art makes you feel and makes you experience. So that's why I guess we start doing this uh, just for the experience of it. And then when you get the experience and then you, you find solutions. Like, I guess it's the long way for finding uh, something more practical. So you know, you talk in, in, in your conversation, you talk about extending the senses that human beings have. Why? <laughs> because if you experience reality in another way, you understand the planet in another way. And this is really exciting. And so for, for the artists, like now, uh, usually artists uh, translate or they show what they feel and what they experience. So you, you add a new sense, you experience change and also and this is very, I think it's very exciting. It's not only designing, designing houses or designing your environment. You design yourself, and you can decide. This, this is like the, the nice point uh, in life that we don't need to wait for natural evolution anymore. We can evolve during our lifetime. We can design ourselves. We can design how we want to perceive reality. Now I want to perceive this, but I maybe in some years I want to add something else. And the, I find this very exciting because then my reality keeps changing. I have to admit that I'm very excited because, you know, it's like, it's one of those things that everyone talks about innovation and, you know, at certain point it sounds boring, but you, you bring like the fresh perspective that I all the time see at artists, with artists. And I have a question with you, for you. I mean, what is the role of artists or the art in general in the, in the process of this exploration for the future? Uh, for me, the goal is also like experience reality in a deeper way. Uh, also, feeling closer to nature and to other species. This, for me, it's 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 like a big hope. I feel like if we understand better where we live, maybe we will create more empathy and we will live in a way that it's more according to our to our planet needs. I think we are living in a way that it's damaging our planet constantly and that we are treating the other species as something inferior, inferior. And my hope is that if we experience that in a deeper way and if we feel closer to other species, we can create more empathy. And I think technology can help us to do that. And also, like, if we change our experience or reality, we will find other ways to share it, so other ways to create art. Great, so I have <laughs> one last question. Do you feel earthquake somewhere in the world right now that we are speaking? <laughs> yeah, when I was answering, there was a little, a little earthquake somewhere. When, so someone somewhere, <laughs> we need, you need to be, be careful because we have over here the, no, I guess this the humanistic... Earthquakes are, are happening all the time. Like 99% of the earthquakes, we don't feel them because the earth 
it's moving by itself, but like it's fascinating because it's a huge movement, but most of the time imperceptible. Bueno, Moon, <laughs> thank you very much thank for coming to Madrid and for joining the art and culture in Tech Vertical. Thanks uh, for inviting I'm me. I'm looking forward to see what are the next thing you're going to implement. Yeah, we'll Thanks. see. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>